Hi, I'm Dave Upton and I'm talking today about the triple play. Um, it's a MIDI controller, it's a guitar MIDI controller. I've had a number of questions around whether if you buy one of these you can actually use it at a gig without having to take a computer and everything else with you. So um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about that today. Um, so let's just start off with a few sounds and uh, giving you a picture of uh, what it can sound like. Virtually no latency. So, awesome piece of kit actually and you can play around with the settings um, using the triple play software to fine tune um, how it picks up finger style, how it dynamically reacts to um, sensitivity on the strings etc. I'm not covering any of that in this video um, you can read the manual um, to do that that you get with it but once you've done that you can then download that into here so that's not the sounds that's the dynamics of the unit and how it plays and how it acts and whether you can bend the strings. See if I bend the strings, that's just the way I've programmed that, that's just going up the notes. And you can use it in the background on various different sounds that you might have. So um, in this one, I use the dobro on the Variax guitar and I'm using the strings in the background that are controlled by this and it works. It works fantastically. So as a unit, brilliant. Now when I bought this um, I, I got it, I plugged it in, I downloaded the software which takes hours to set up and is quite challenging. But once I've done that, fabulous sounds that come um, with the with the software. Um, but the biggest problem was whenever I took it to a gig, I, I got the laptop hanging, I'd got the, all that equipment in an environment that, you know, isn't ideal for a, for a, a computer. Um, I've got fairly heavy latency um, and it turns out the latency is not in the unit. The latency is in the software and its interpretation. Um, so I had various different difficulties around that and I just wanted to simplify the whole thing down um, so that I could um, go out on the road, get the benefit of this, what you've just heard. Um, so I started searching around for ways to do that. And the first thing I did was I bought the foot pedal that goes with it because that foot pedal can run in hardware mode and can drive MIDI signals out through a traditional MIDI cable to a sound module, uh, which is fine. So there's no sounds in the foot pedal, um, but you can drive an external sound module. And um, that was okay, except for the fact that sound modules are quite expensive things, um, generally, uh, because they're trying to do super fantastic things that people that are in with their music tech and their MIDI um, want them to do these days. They've advanced uh, phenomenally over the years. Um, but the difficulty that I was having was, I'm just a guitarist, I just want a few simple, high quality um, sounds, piano sounds, string sounds, etc., organ sounds in the background. I don't want anything too clever, um, but I just want something that's robust, simple, and I can take out on the road. So, that's where I found this. It, this is the MIDI Plus and um, what we have here 
is a very, very cheap, very cheap, i.e. £60 in the UK, um, MIDI uh, sound. What I've got there is that on the floor, just plugged in um, through a foot controller, foot pedal, um, which has got this thing in the end, which if I just pull that out for a sec, so that is the Fishman radio pickup for the, for the unit on the guitar. So you just plug that into a laptop normally, um, or if you've got this foot pedal, you plug it in the end. Okay, and that just goes in there like that, and this whole thing comes to life. Okay, so uh, let's just have a little look at this then. So what we've got here is, um, this little cable, this connector that comes with the MIDI Plus, just plugs in at the top here, and allows you to connect a normal MIDI cable. So effectively I've got the out on the back of the foot pedal here, um, going to the in here, which is just telling this what to do, and receiving the MIDI uh, messages from the uh, guitar pickup. Um, that works a treat and I can cycle through different, you can see on the top of here uh, as it's telling it to change patch and I've named all the patches on my foot pedal to match up with the sounds that I know are in here so it's just a general MIDI set of sounds uh, but it's pretty good. Um, but the one thing that I didn't really spot when I ordered this uh, or didn't really think about was the fact the USB port was on the top here. So you can see there's a power socket, there's the a MIDI in, uh, there's the stereo sound out and then there's this USB socket on the top of here. So very simple unit. But the great thing about that is... I can pull this out of here and I can stick it in the top of there. So just bear with me. And you'll see it now lights up. And that means it's made a connection to the guitar. And from the guitar, I can actually Play around with various different things. I could play with patches and all that kind of stuff um, directly from the guitar. Um, and the other thing I can do is I could swap this cable for the one that's coming from my Helix so that whenever I change sound on my Helix, which is here, I can push a patch change to this to set um, in line with whatever my patch is in my set that I'm using on stage. And that then takes this out of the frame completely. It's slightly less useful to cycle through sounds here because all I get is a number, so I don't know what the sound is. So that is one of the uses of this. Um, but if you've already pre-programmed it all in your Helix because you're, you're just using a handful of sounds when you're playing live, then it's already done. So you don't really care. Um, and then you can run the guitar in hardware mode with just this stuck in the top of here. And that is a replacement for your computer. So you can go on the road, you can play live, and that works a treat. Um, and then what I've got going on here is a stereo out, which goes through that pile of wires and comes in here and goes in the return on the back of the helix. So then what a helix, um, you'll see this return block here. So I can turn that on and off as I go through. So back to the guitar then. So what I can do with this now <laughs> Just 
just with the Fishman pickup plugged in the top of the MIDI plus. And I can just, just play around with that. Loads of sounds. great things you can do with it. So there we are, that's it, that is the MIDI Plus with the Fishman plugged into it, that's all it is. It's about £60, whatever that is in dollars. Um, so look for it online, I bought mine from a very famous um, online shopping um, system that begins with an A. Um, are very easy to find on there um, they've got them in stock even now and um, I think it's a great piece of kit just to carry around in your kit bag if you're going to use MIDI in the background just for certain things perhaps to augment certain songs um, works a treat hope that's been helpful see you soon bye